how's it going? This is Brian from Nature's Roots Farm. We are out here at the sawmill today, right out in our work area. Just preparing some building materials. We have some cool projects going on at the moment. We're getting ready for our big event on October 28th. Anyway, this is our sawmill. Um, it's a band sawmill. We can put 16-foot uh, 16, 16 logs and we can cut it, custom cut to any size we want, whether it be one bys, two bys, uh, three-quarter inch, or just some nice slabs. Uh, we are using the, the bandsaw mill as um, one to provide our own materials for any building projects that we have on site, but also to fill in a revenue gap during the winter when we have downtime from the animals. Uh, anyway, when we load the when we load the uh, the bandsaw mill up, we use this cool tool that I have some friends that weld it. This is called a logging arch. So it just hooks up with a pintle hitch right here has a 12,000 pound winch that connects to a battery that is button operated and you can pick up a log just using simple physics by wrapping the cable front center of the log and as it lifts up and it hits this crotch the back end lifts up and levitates off the ground. Now moving a log off the ground is very important for the sawmill because if you drag it in long distances it's going to get little pebbles and rocks that get uh, snagged up under the bark and so with this band sawmill Unfortunately, it's very fickle when it comes to when it comes to rocks and pebbles and hard pieces in the soil that that get up in there, and you'll have to change the blade. Not that they're expensive, but it becomes a little bit more if you know if you don't do it right. But anyway, along with the bandsaw mill and our building materials, as you can see right behind the bandsaw mill, we have our new outdoor kitchen, which is very close to being finished. We're hoping to have it all done by October 28th. Uh, we've cut all the cedars off-site here on the farm. I milled all the beams, um, the purlines that we used, I milled all those on one side and the other side was uh, material being used from the corn crib that used to sit in this spot. And we'll be having countertops and in February this is actually where the brick oven will go that we've been talking about in our recent newsletters. But anyway, thank you for joining us this week. Hope you've uh, learned a little bit. We, our schedule got mixed up so uh, next time we hope to be at uh, Fogwell Family Farms to learn about the chicken operation that Graham Fogwell is running over there. Anyway, we hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.